are you? We are Nest. You are not Nest. When we scan you to determine your origins, this scan will not be invasive. We assure you that we will not harm you. Yeah, go ahead, scan us. But can you answer something first? What exactly are you? We are Nest. <laughs> Clear as fuck you mud. We are a nanotech life form originating from the Alexis Sassy Space Station as part of Experiment 1436, headed by Dr. Anna Taylor. Scary. Please hold still. Scary. Thank you. We have conducted our scans. You appear to be Homo sapiens. You are of the same species as Dr. Anna Taylor. Have you come to complete 1436? Nah, sorry, we don't know anything about a Dr. Anna Taylor of 1436. Since you are not a member of the Alexis Research Program, you are not authorized to access any of the research. But as it has been determined that the experiment may soon hit a critical failure, we will add you to the research roster. Please state your name so that you may be granted researcher privileges. My name is Mark Leslie. This is my brother Don Leslie and a uh, companion Pooch. Thank you, Mark Leslie. Your name has been added to the research roster. 1436 has encountered an unforeseen failure. We have documented 73,612 cycles of ongoing procedure. We have generated 18 billion gigawatts of information. After reaching our maximum storage capacity, we used this plant-based life form's dense neural pathways to store our information overflow. Now wait, let's go to the beginning. What is 1436? 1436 is a terraforming experiment led by Dr. Anna Taylor. Combining the nomad life forms with bioengineered plant spores, microenvironmental changes could be made. The combination of freezing temperatures in a vacuum facilitated the fusing of nano and biotechnology. The experiment was moved to the Alexis Space Station. After an electromagnetic pulse disabled communication with Sisa Earthcom, the Alexis Space Station experienced a critical failure. After high orbit degradation occurred, the station broke up in the atmosphere upon re-entry. The main research laboratories were contained to this crater. 1446 continued to operate for 8,944 days until an unforeseen failure occurred. What sort of unforeseen failure? The nest in the southern mountains disagreed with us. Their refrigeration systems are powered by a slowly diminishing red mercury core. Our cores were also failing. Nest cannot survive outside of freezing temperatures. We designed and engineered a device to create microclimates, which would allow the continuation of 1436 and the gathering of data. They saw this as a way to rapidly expand from our respective landing sites. Simulations indicated an environmental catastrophe. When we refused to hand over the device or transmit the plans, we were cut off from the Nest Shared Intelligence Network. I'm 
I'm sorry to have your problems with your brothers in the south. We thank you. It has been difficult. A part of us has been severed in cutting us off. The two are weaker. While their refrigeration towers are powered by the Alexis Space Station's Red Mercury Core, they have lost something. Removing us from the network has resulted in the loss of their ability to replicate or create. They got desperate. They needed the device to expand. We held on to it in the hopes to barter a truce. Our brothers employed the services of a wandering agnate, a self-proclaimed medicine man. It gained our trust and then stole the device. However, as they have not managed to expand their borders, we believe that they never received the stolen device. With their red mercury power core slowly depleted, we know that they will soon die. How soon? 7,300 days. Is there a way we could help? We have reached an impasse with our brothers. We know that we just need to wait them out. Once that happens, the experiment will be marked as failed, and we can disassemble. In cutting us from their network, and sending an agnate thief into our home, they have made us an enemy. The preservation of the data from 1436, and the long-term survival of the environment are of paramount importance. It is why we exist. We must enter a low-power regeneration cycle. Please return later. Scanning for poisons. I feel everything. I feel it all, like intrusive spikes slowly lifting the metal plates that hold me together. I am exposed. It is too quiet. The soft static of white noise is gone. It is empty. This pain is too much. This is a slow death. To be alone, cut off, trapped in a single box. I am sorry you're in pain. I am. I have been severed. I have been removed from the others. I am no longer Nest. I am single. I am one. Good to meet you one. I'm Mark. I am one, but I do not wish to be one. I wish to be many again. Why are you disconnected from the others? I do not know. I was the first to be severed, to go from many voices to a single thought, and then the divide happened. The nest that were whole became half. If we could bridge the great expanse between us, we could be whole again. If we could join them again perhaps one could become many. How can you join up with them? You're so far away. To close the gap and undo the divide, we would need a bridge of ice between us. They have such a device. Bring it to me, and I will reunite all nest. Bring it to me so that one may become many again. Here, take this. A severed nest. A protonanite. It holds inside it the blueprint for a perfect nest climate. Return with the device, and let us mend the divide.
Hello? Is someone in there? I still can't hear what you're saying. Don't worry, we'll get you out. 